Right, I was just about to set off to the water park. Um, it's it's a, a lake actually that I went to with my grandparents many years ago. And uh, I remember at the time it was uh, when those Richworth um, DVDs were out, Richworth, Bates, whatever, um, and they're on the linear fisheries, the linear complex, and, and promoting them. And I remember going to the shops after seeing that and buying a, a pot of pineapple Hawaiian, uh, bright yellow pop-ups, and uh, walking up to this lake, and uh, very new to carp fishing, and I'd seen how good these were on the DVD, and uh, Thought I was going to take it apart with these uh, pineapple wire and pop-ups and turn up and uh, chucked it out into the middle of the lake and waited and waited and nothing happened and saw all these pictures of uh, some massive carp in there so it'd be interesting that was probably 15 years ago now I suppose longer than that I expect and then um, so yeah it'd be interesting to go back there I know the otters are around the water park and this place isn't fenced but um, quite excited about today we're uh, going doing a survey on that lake. Um, long time since I've been there, I've been driving past it for a long time and always wondered what's left in there, if there's any beasts. So today we should find out. So uh, we'll get the van started, get on the road and get up the road to the water park and let's have a look. So Andy's just gone and shot 300 metres of deep net into open water uh, and then the plan is to electrofish round it uh, for a few hours, electrofish the snags, very snags, the water level's up so it'd be interesting, not really sure where the fish are going to be, so uh, yeah we'll shoot, cover all bases, shoot a big net in open water bollocks fit, 300 metres of deep net and then electrofish round the edges in a minute and then pull the big net in and we might have time for another sweep a bit later on on the other end, but yeah a bit of a challenge today, very windy, very flooded, we'll see how we get on. So we've uh, just done a lap ledge fishing, um, not really sure what we're, we knew it was going to be a challenge, we don't really know what's in here and we've heard of fish uh, being taken in the past from here. Um, and yeah, we did a lap and uh, bumped into a few fish on the end of the wind, there's a real warm wind pushing into, into one corner and uh, we, we disturbed a few and caught a lot of pike. Um, we caught one little, little scaly pretty mirror, probably about mid-double, and then uh, yeah, we, we chased them down into, into well, we tried all the corners where we thought there'd be fish and just did a lap around the net that we've shot. Got a 300 metre net that's sat out in open water now, which we're ready to pull in. But uh, yeah, just as we were coming to the end and ready to turn the kit off, Dave let out a little squeal and uh, dropped the net in and he came up with a mid-30. So uh, we've got one, got one in the bag. Um, pretty fish, a lot of leeches on it. It's obviously the, obviously the time of year when fish are going a bit quiet and sitting up in places that they're comfortable obviously with the predation around here there's no fence around this particular water and uh, yeah about to pull uh, pull 300 meters in um, and we think we might bump into a few fish if the net fish fish as well because uh, where we caught that at mid 30 is um, just as we were coming up to the net so uh, I think we've shot the net in the right place and uh, so yeah we're gonna pull that in now and uh, see what we catch Watch this space. Just got the net in, loads of fish, let's get and have a closer look. 